Hi, and welcome to our web design video blog. James is still on holiday, so today I'm joined by my colleague Michael. Hello. Today we're doing a guest blog for webdesignlessons.com, and we're going to discuss optimizing CSS files. Now, earlier this week, the question was raised by one of our blog post readers Is there any point in CSS optimization when the file size is so small? To which we replied, Yes, yes we, we think, think so. so. So, thanks for that question from Belinda from Carlisle. CSS optimization is designed to make your style sheet more concise and efficient. Now, you can still make websites compliant without doing this, but there are other benefits which add value. Now, writing your CSS in the least possible amount of source code is good practice for web design. Firstly, and mainly, it does improve readability, so designers, including yourself, can easily navigate the code. It's also good for maintenance if you're going to go in and change or add a new style. It's then good to try and understand the cascading theory, where styles are automatically passed on to their child elements, such as font, colour, font size and text alignment. Can I just stop you there, Nick? Now, it's important to remember that not all styles do share this default inheritance, so it's certainly worthwhile uh, doing some research and finding out which ones do. CSS notations are seen in various forms, and preferences generally vary between designers. The most common of these is multi-line notation, where each selector sits aligned underneath each other. This is certainly the easiest to read. However, on larger style sheets, what you'll find is that it does mean more scrolling to find particular styles. Now, to sidestep this curveball, you can always keep your notations on one line. It certainly makes it a lot easier to find certain styles. You could take this another step further and put all the styles on one line. But that's ridiculous. OK, so let's look at an example where we can actually start to optimise the code. Let's. Now here's a file that we've prepared to show how we can optimise the CSS without any effect and how the web page renders. Now by taking a look at the CSS, we can start to see already how we can condense the code. Just to reiterate what you said earlier about inheritance. Now certain styles do inherit from their parent. So where we can see here that the H1, H2, H3, etc. all share a common font family. If we were to put this into the body tag, it would naturally inherit through to each one of these. Let's try that. Now looking through the code, other things that we can do to optimise the CSS, just a small one, but we can take out the PX here. Now when your value is zero, there's no need to have a unit. So you get perfectly valid code by taking that out. Another reference here on this border colour, we can see that the value is 999999. Now in CSS shorthand, we can actually write this as 999, saving three characters there. Another thing we can do to optimise the CSS is to declare one or more tags to have the same set of attributes. Now we can see here that the H4 and the H5 tags are indeed identical. Now by taking this H5, popping a comma, we can get rid of this line of code, already saving space. Finally, another thing that we can do to optimise the CSS, if we take a look at this div here and the LI, we can see that we're declaring a margin top, a margin bottom, a margin left and a margin right. Now we can condense this using CSS shorthand to declare all of these values in one margin statement. To do that, we can remove all of these and quite simply write it as margin followed by four values. Now it's important to remember which order these values are declared in. So the first value is top, second, right, third, bottom, fourth, left. Now if we just take a quick look back to the web page and give this a refresh, nothing happens, which is good. We're condensing the code with no effect on the actual page. Sounds like we need a song. I think you're right, Nick. Remember, you 
can always write it this way Top right Then bottom then left Top right Then bottom then left Top right Then bottom then left Actually it's a bit like a clock